Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009 can help streamline your document approval process. You can define limitations such as purchase, request, and credit limits or salesperson purchaser approval requirements. Each user is assigned an approver to approve their documents. Once the approval request has been sent, an email can be used to notify approvers that a document is waiting for their approval. Upon receiving the document, approvers can approve, reject, or delegate the approval. Delegating sends the approval to another predetermined substitute approver. Administrators can automatically delegate to the substitute approver if the initial approver is out of the office. This demonstration illustrates how Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009 facilitates the approvals process for employees in both sales and purchasing roles. Susan, the sales order processor, gets a phone call from a customer, the Canon Group PLC. They want to place an order for 10 Athens desks. Susan creates a new sales document and enters the information for the customer and order. Sales orders at Cronus require the approval of the salesperson responsible for the relevant account. The total of this order is above Susan's limit so she's required to send this document for approval. Susan requests approval of the sales order. Her manager, Kevin, is set up to receive the request for approval. Kevin checks his email in Microsoft Outlook, which he can do from this link in his role center. He sees that there is a document waiting for approval. In this example, Kevin has permission to grant approval both in his salesperson role and due to his approval amount limits. From the Approval Entries window, Kevin can view all documents awaiting his approval and make an informed decision by reviewing each sales order in detail. The order is acceptable, so Kevin approves the order. Susan can view the status of her approval request in her Approvals Request Entries window. She can see that the document has been approved, and she can proceed with her job. Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009 makes it simple to approve documents. The workflow helps make the approval process consistent. Missed approvals are a thing of the past. Alicia has negotiated a discount with Coolwood Technologies and enters the details of the agreed price into a purchase quote. She knows that her manager will want to see the details of her agreement with Coolwood Technologies. Alicia has received the quote from Coolwood Technologies and has placed the document on a SharePoint site. She uses the Links feature to attach the document to the quote. Alicia can now send the document for approval.
In Microsoft Dynamics NAV, Phyllis checks her email in Microsoft Outlook and sees that there is a document waiting for approval. Phyllis can view the approval request in her Approval Entries window. Phyllis can see that Alicia has included the quote document from the vendor. She can view this document and use the information in her decision-making process. She decides that she does not have enough information regarding this particular vendor to make an informed decision and decides to delegate the decision to Stan. Phyllis adds a comment to the approval, asking the company president if he thinks Kronos could get a better deal. Phyllis automatically delegates the approval to Stan, who is her predefined substitute approval provider. Stan, the president, checks email in Microsoft Outlook and sees that there is a document for approval delegated by Phyllis. Stan views Phyllis's comment and thinks that it should be possible to get a better discount. Stan decides to reject this approval. When he clicks Reject, the Approval Comments window opens. This is because the administrator set up the system to require a comment for rejections of document approvals. Stan offers his feedback and closes the Approval Comments window. The document is now rejected and his input is recorded. Alicia checks her email in Microsoft Outlook and sees that the document for the quote from Coolwood Technologies has been rejected. She can also see that there is a comment regarding the document. Alicia can review the details of the rejection process in her approval request entries. Alicia can see that Phyllis had a question regarding the document and delegated the approval to Stan. He rejected her approval request. She can use the feedback from Stan to renegotiate the deal with Coolwood Technologies and to use the new terms to resubmit the document for approval. This demonstration illustrated the ease with which you can set up Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009 to make document approval routine and easy. Let's talk for a minute about what this means to your company. The main advantage is that paperwork no longer sits on someone's desk while the approval process grinds to a halt. This means that orders go out the door on time without manual intervention. The cost of manual approval processes are well documented as are the improvements that can be made by automating those processes.